Hey everybody and welcome to the third part in the Spectrum of Defense video series. In the first part we looked at one-to-one -one matchup defense, second part we looked at zone defense, this part we're looking at flash poaching and the next part we're going to look at sustained poaching and the final video is going to be on flexigon defense. If you want to see all these parts then they're available right now on Patreon, you just pledge any amount and then the video will be fully available to you. If you pledge $8 a month um, then after your second payment you'll get a free disc and that's like a special limited edition offer. Okay. Enjoy the video, see you soon. Flash poaching is the technique that's the first step away from purely marking players that teams use to generate turns. Aware defenders flash poach ahead of a cut when they believe that that player will imminently be thrown to. A flash poaching player can dive into that space early to discourage the throw or late and potentially get a D. Flash poaching is great for adding a bit of chaos to your defense that throwers need to consider when deciding if a player is free enough to throw to. A more difficult task than deciding if a 1-to-1 one -one march player is free. Flash poachers do however leave a player with separation that can cut away from the flash poach and get very free. Flash poachers also require a lot of field awareness, as flash poaching an option that wasn't going to be thrown to has no upside, and means that the player that's poached off is even more likely to receive the disc. Flash poaching can encourage watching the disc to determine if a cut will be thrown to, instead of keeping focus on your matchup, which can add a split second to a defender's reaction time with their matchup cutting. New York Pony are a team that have used flash poaching very effectively, specifically in the 2018 season, leading to wins at the Pro Championships Finals and USAU Club Nationals. Pony's defenders were excellent at recognising when their matchup was inactive, surveying the field and attacking the space where an active player was cutting into. More analysis of Pony's defensive strategy can be found in this analysis video from the Pro Championship Finals and these live streams with the coach of Pony, Brian Jones, as we go over Pony's Nationals win in 2018. Sustained poaching is the technique of covering space on the field that is particularly valuable to the offense. A quick appeal, if you're watching this video for free and you're taking things which are going to add to your game, then please give something back by clicking the link below, pledging any amount through Patreon. The generosity of the Ultimate Community, which is you, determines whether more videos will be made or not, and I do want to keep providing the community with more content. I can actually be hired to look at a video of your team playing and provide critical constructive analysis at an affordable rate. Get in touch, felix at felixultimate.com if you want this service. Okay, just before I say goodbye, let's revisit that Ben Katz D. So this was the D that Brian Jones said was his favourite D in the entire season. And being the coach of the team that won the national championship, that's quite a statement. At the start of the clip, he's giving all of his attention to the thrower, knowing that his mark doesn't have an easy reset option due to the clogging in the backfield. He knows the fake is going to trigger the next move for the offense, so although he takes a couple of steps to close down his mark, he sees that the thrower is still looking downfield, so then he turns to look and see what the thrower sees. Antoine Davis is open coming under, so Ben Katz can trust this throw is going to be made and he commits to a flash poach bid. When the disc moves over to the far side of the field, he looks downfield again to see what the thrower sees. There's an open deep cut and so he knows that the other player deep is going to be cutting under at any moment. By preempting this move, he's completely ready for it and in perfect position when that cut does happen. Whilst this has been going on, he's also been keeping half an eye on his mark and has probably noticed that the mark has been pushed up the line. So when the disc doesn't go to him in his uh, poaching position for the downfield pass that he's poaching on, then he attacks the up the line space, gets his body in front of his mark and catches the interception. A contributing factor to his mark cutting up the line is a flash poach in the backfield earlier on from Mike Drost. This type of smart and flexible defense, with a little bit of help from teammates, does really well to counter the style of Revolver, which is based around more set plays and large spaces and isolations, taking time to look at an option develop and then being able to hit the space. Pony's counter completely stifles that and forces them into a totally different style. I go into more detail on this in the turnovers video, so check the description for that link. So loads of stuff going on in that clip. It's worth watching a few times over. Okay, remember, become a patron at $8 if you want a free disc, and I'll see you again soon.